Buenos dias. I know I'm not supposed to touch the minibar, but I'm going to do it. You know, I don't even care anymore. I'm doing it. I'm having the Molo. Did a lot of the prep work at, at home. And you, you know, you make your choices and then, old, but really this was the environment informed a great deal. You know, we made up some stuff as we went along. You know, there's, 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 scene, there's stuff I shot that was not in the script where we just sort of pieces. So you, you, it's tough to prepare for that, but if you leave yourself open and loose, I think the, the, the world will deliver you, you know. If you and don't, without making a meal out of it, you know what I mean? You, you just, you gotta just play it all for real, you know? Yeah, my preparation was like, I grew the beard and went to Mexico, and that's, just, <laughs> that's what I needed, <laughs> you know? Um, it's like, like Joel, like, like, like Joel says, it's, uh, um, it's, it's sort of in a place like that, in a form that's set in Mexico, it's like, it's, it's, you feel it, you, you, the, the, Mexico's a character in the film, basically, and it's sort of, it's a, it's easy to sort of just go there and, 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 and just run with it. I know a guy. I've tracked down dictators, but I can find a guy in middle management. What do they want? They want five million. What? Pesos? Dollars! What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. I need to keep tracking. I don't like needles! Give me <laughs> Nash is uh, a wonderful collaborator in the sense that he really lets you go with the character, um, and and uh, you know for me it was it was a real pleasure because you don't get a huge amount of opportunity on movies to improvise, and Nash really let myself and David uh, do a lot of that in the scenes that we had together, and um, it's a it's it's uh, it's a real blessing for for an actor to get somebody who who trusts you to, to run with a role. You know, work, work with, I think Nash did something very smart. You know, I think he set up great situations and then he sort of, he let his actors run and he, and when he had to corral you, he corralled you, but you know, he, he let it unfold. He let, he let people improvise, which is always great. Improvising is great. I try to do it in every movie, even when people like it or they don't like it. Um, because you don't have the, the benefit of rehearsing something like you would a play. So it's, it's, it's dead on you in two takes. So you have to, mm. you know, how does this fit in my mouth? I gotta change the words. I'm like, well, you know, it's like, yeah, it's, I'm sorry. This is what, how- it Keeps it's, it's real and right. spontaneous. It keeps it spontaneous and you surprise each other. I love yeah. it when actors Right, you surprise that. the other actor. Yeah. Like, oh, what you're helping each other the whole way. That's it, it's yeah. right. You're, the mm. act, it's two actors working, like mm. roll up your sleeve, you get yeah. in there and you hash yeah. it out. You know yeah. what I mean? So Nash allowed that to happen, and that's a great thing when, when somebody, you know, allows it to unfold. You can't scare me with tales of the big bad cartels. I don't know how things work. Not in Mexico. The most uh, important thing about the film for me is just that it's fun, that it's a good time and it's a good laugh, but I do think there's a lot of um, sort of social commentary and kind of heart under there, and it's kind of you know issues around the American dream and and human greed and um, and uh, uh, how easily power corrupts people and you know there's a, there's a lot of things you can read into it but really at the end of the day it's for me it's just a fun it's a it's a it's a movie to go and you know take your friends and go and have a release and go and have a laugh at you know because the world's going a little bit crazy as it is right now anyway so yeah. Yeah. I mean what themes do I think the film expo uh, explores um, I think yeah, you know, Shalter hit a lot of them. I think you know greed and, and corruption and and, and uh, you watching f uh, you know, who really is your friend and who's not your friend and and is is, is you know loyalty. <laughs> loyalty, there you go, loyalty. Yeah. And things aren't what you think they are yeah. sometimes. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and then you have you know you know the Harry and Amanda story. That they're, 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 they're beautiful. Love. They're, yeah, love and like so it's you know. Um, yeah, I mean, all that stuff is in there, and then and then it's funny, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. You really believe in God? Of course, I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? I guess I kind of do, but not. Ah! <laughs>